Hello everyone, welcome to our new video of preclinical pharmacology. In this video, we are going to discuss about septipharmacology. First one is introduction. In general pharmacology, divides into three categories that is primary pharmacodynamics, secondary pharmacodynamics, and septipharmacology. First one is primary pharmacodynamics. The study of the study on the mode of action or effect of a substance in relation to its desired therapeutic target are a primary pharmacodynamic study. In secondary pharmacodynamic studies aim to investigating the mode of action or effect of a substance not related to its desired therapeutic target. Sometimes, sometimes the primary and secondary pharmacodynamics properties of a substance may contribute the safety evaluation for a potential adverse effect in human. Safety pharmacology. Safety pharmacology means the branch of pharmacology specializing in the detecting and the investigating the potential and undesirable pharmacodynamics effect of a substance on a physiological functions in a relation to exposure in a uh, therapeutic range and above. Safety pharmacology is can be used to determine the effect of a vital function and evaluate the potential adverse effect on an organ system such as renal and a gastrointestinal tract. Pharmacological study have been performed worldwide for many years as a part of a non-clinical evaluation of a pharmaceutical for human use. Concept of safety pharmacology. First one is to identify the undesirable pharmacodynamic properties of a substance that may have relevance to its human safety. Second one is to relate the the adverse pharmacodynamic or a pathophysiological effect of a substance observed in a toxicology or a clinical study. And the second one is the investigating the mechanism of adverse pharmacodynamic effect observed or suspected. These are the main objective of a safety pharmacology study. Importance of pharmacology. The first one is to provide the insurity with the data to discontinue development of unsafe drug early in the preclinical development phase. The second one is to determine the dosage regime, substance selection of a novel compounds. Helps in risk evaluation and hazardous identification. And the last one is the critical step in design of a clinical trials. These are the importance of safety pharmacology. Test system. Test system include general consideration on the test substance using in vivo and in vitro studies, experimental design, sample size, and use of a control and route of administration. The first is the general. The first in general, the consideration should be relevant to selection of an animal model or other test system so that the scientifically valid information can be derived. Selection factors can be included: pharmacokinetic profile, species strain, gender, and age of experimental animal. And the second one is using in vivo and in vitro study. In vivo and in vitro system can be include isolated organ and a tissue, cell culture, cell fragment, cellular organ, receptor, and transporter. And the third is experiment design, which includes sample size and use of control and route of administration. Dose level or a concentration of a test substance, is which includes in vivo and in vitro study. The safety pharmacology study should be designed to define the dose response curve of an adverse effect. The time course of an adverse effect should be investigated. An in vitro study should be designed to establish a concentration effect of relationship. The range and the range of concentration should be used in the order to increase the effect of a test substance. Tire first, core battery. The purpose of the study of safety pharmacology core battery is to investigate the effect of a test substance on a vital functions on a hotel organs, in, which includes central nervous system, cardiovascular system, respiratory system, which usually considered. Vital organ system that should be studied in a core battery. That means the main purpose of the study of core battery is to evaluate the effect of a chemical or a substance which is going to be tested 
prevalent that what is the effect of a drug on the cardiovascular system respiratory system and a central nervous system septic pharmacology core battery study first one is cns central nervous system effect of a test substance on a central nervous nervous system should be assessed appropriately such as motor activity behavior contra contraction sensory motor reflexes and body temperature the effect of a test substance on a respiratory system the main parameters are respiratory rate tidal value and hemoglobin oxygen saturation and the last one is cardiovascular system the effect the effect of a test system on a cardiovascular system the main parameters are bp heart rate ecg repolarization hrg sa and conduction follow up study for a safety pharmacology core battery follow up study provide a greater depth of understanding and additional knowledge to that provided by a core battery on a vital function first one is central nervous system which including behavioral pharmacology learning and memory ligand specific binding neurochemistry visual auditor electro electrophysiology examination etc spaces generally the same rodian space is used in a toxicology study the second one is cardiovascular system which include cardiac output ventricular contract contractility contractility vascular resistance the effect of endogenous or exogenous substance on a cardiovascular response it is <coughs> spaces same as a, a non rodent spaces in a toxicology study the third one is respiratory system airway resistance compliance pulmonary artery pressure blood gas and blood ph spaces same, same as a non rodent or a rodent spaces in a toxicology study tire second supplementary study there are meant to evaluate adverse pharmacodynamic effect on organ system that not addressed by a core battery studies first one is renal urinary system the effect of a test system on a renal parameter should be assessed for example urine volume specific gravity osmolality ph electrolyte balance protein blood chemistry determination such as blood urea and nitrogen keratinine and a plasma protein can be used the second one is gastrointestinal system effect of a test substance on the GI system should be assessed. For example, gastric secretion, gastrointestinal injury, injury potential, bile secretion, transit time in vivo, ileal uh, concentration in bitter, gastric pH measurement and polling can be used. Autonomic nervous system. The effect of this substance on ANS should be assessed. for example binding to relevant receptor response to agonist or antagonist measurement of cardiovascular responses baroreflexes testing heart rate and variability can be used other organ system the effect of this substance on organ system not investigate elsewhere should be assess where there is a reason for concern for example skeletal muscles immuno immune and endocrine function can be investigated thank you